planetary motion. For an object in circular orbit, the orbital speed is inversely proportional to the square root of the orbital radius. The square of the orbital period is directly proportional to the cube of the orbital radius, as shown here. This can be derived setting Newton's law of universal gravitation equal to centripetal force. And solving for t, remember that velocity is distance over time, and if you go around a circle, that distance is 2 pi r divided by capital T, the period, or the time that it takes for one complete revolution. The total mechanical energy for an object in circular orbit is negative. The further away you are from the object you're orbiting, the greater the value of your total mechanical energy will be, because the less negative your gravitational potential energy will be. Remember that if you have gravitational potential energy equal to zero, you are an infinite distance away. That's why it's negative gmm over r. Kepler's three laws of planetary motion. First law, the law of orbits. All orbits are ellipses. The law of areas, equal sweeps and equal times, and the law of periods, shown here, were deduced from observations how the planets move, but all can be explained by Newton's law of universal gravitation and are made mathematically easier to understand using conservation of angular momentum and energy.